This is Gagan Girotra, IIT Roorkee class of 2000 and I am Calcutta class of 2005. Hi friends, welcome to the third video on uh, time and work. Uh, in the earlier two videos, we've already discussed the types of problems that you can be asked in time and work. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss uh, problems related to individuals but belonging to different groups. All right. So this is the type of problems we are going to look at today. All right. Let's look at this problem on the right hand side of the screen. It says, if three boys or four girls can construct a wall in 43 days, then how many days would seven boys and five girls take to construct it? Now, so far, the kind of problems we've seen is we would have either a number of boys doing the job, yeah, or we would have a number of girls doing the job and the question would be, if boys is given, then the question would be asked on how many boys. If girls was given, the question would be asked how many girls. But here, you would notice that it is given that the wall is constructed either by three boys in 43 days or by four girls in 43 days. And the question which is asked is, how many days would it take seven boys and five girls to construct it? So, you, so, so the important thing here is to notice the difference between the questions we have been doing so far and this particular question where there are two groups of people, the first group being the boys, the second group being the girl, all right? Now, let me just write down, uh, uh, write this problem down in the standard way that we do. So what we have is we have three boys, okay, constructing the wall in 43 days, right? And we have four girls, constructing the same wall in 43 days. So what we would generally do is we would apply W1 upon N1 T1 up is equal to W2 upon N2 T2. But what is clear is that the, uh, th that the group of people is different in both cases, right? So what we need to do here is we need to figure out what the relationship between the productivity of boys and the productivity of girls is. Now, as we can see here, we notice that the amount of work done in both cases is the same. The time that both of them take is the same. So this means that the output of, so let me just use this left hand side of the page here. So output of three boys is actually equal to the output of four girls, which means that I can either replace one boy with four by three girls, or I can replace one girl with three by four boys. Yeah. So this is the relationship that I'm going to use here. But what is the question asked? The question has been asked seven boys and five girls. Now notice and the question that has been asked is how much time? So, so the same wall needs to be constructed. Number of days, I don't know. What has been asked is how much time will seven boys and so I use a plus sign, five girls take to build it. So from the relationship that I've arrived at here, I can either replace one boy with four by three girls here, or I can replace one girl with three by four boys here. So let me just replace boys with four by three girls. So the question actually has been, that has been put across is how much time would seven times four by three girls. So I've replaced one boy with four by three girls. Okay. Plus five girls take to build the, uh, build the wall. Okay. So what I get here is I got 28 upon three and I got 15 upon three, five girls equals 15 upon three. So this is 43 upon three girls, right? So don't mind the fraction. The point is the number of people who will be putting in the effort, that effort putting people are equivalent to 43 by three girls. They must build the same wall in X days, right? Now, I must now be able to apply my W1 upon N1 T1 equals W2 upon N2 T2, where I need to be careful is that I should be equating girls with girls only. If I had replaced 
girls here with three by four boys, I should have I would have used the W1 upon N1 T1 of this situation. But since I've replaced boys with girls, so I must replace the W1 upon N1 T1 of this situation, right? This situation and not this situation with W1 upon N1 T1 of this situation. So let me just write down W1 upon N1 T1 of this situation. So I have work done one wall built by four girls in 43 days should be equal to W2 of this situation. W2 is again one wall built by 43 by three girls in X days. So I'll just use this space here. I notice that the denominator numerators being equal, denominators must be equal. So I'll just use the denominator equals denominator. So we have four times 43 equals 43 by three X. So X equals four, 43, three by 43. So let me just cancel out 43. So we get X equals 12 days. Hope this is clear. Now, what we have done, I'll just quickly summarize. We, if we are given two different groups or even more than two groups, what we need to do is replace one group with the other in the combined question. Now here, the, uh, the, 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 there is a combination of boys and girls. So all I need to do is replace one with the other and then equate the W1 upon N1 T1 of here with the corresponding W1 upon N2 T1. Thanks for watching the video. You can uh, give your feedback in the comments section below. Please click the like button if you thought the video was helpful. Uh, for lesson updates, you may subscribe to my YouTube channel People Plus or you may read my blogs at peopleprep.com or you can directly connect to us uh, through our Facebook page at the rate People Plus or you can email to me at gagan at the rate Thank you.